want to go back. He wants to go back. I want to go back to the farm. Go back far away from home with a milk pail on my arm. I miss the rooster, the one that used to wake me up at 4 a.m. Down on the farm. I'm Scott Bain. They called me the old farmer. A while ago, I picked up one of the Harbor Freight wood benches that you put together yourself. And I thought I'd take you along as I put the thing together. Usually when I put together component parts like this, I always like to glue them together. Whether it's solder, furniture, or whatever, I always like to glue it together. I did so on this one too. And I think it made a big difference. Now I bought this last fall, uh, maybe November, and I was concerned about uh, the temperature and such. I had intended to use, uh, at the beginning, uh, tight bond construction adhesive because I had talked to them and they recommended that as the best thing to use for putting together something that would be in the garage. However, I couldn't find any. I looked all over the place, could not find it anywhere locally on it, so I had to pick up a, a tube of uh, Gorilla construction adhesive, and I was concerned about uh, the, the cold. I could get the garage warm enough to meet specifications for using it as an adhesive, but I was concerned about uh, in the evening time when it cools down into the 30s. I wanted to know how long that I needed to keep the temperature up to be safe. And so I called Gorilla Glue, and I talked to a nice young lady there that uh, impressed the daylights out of me. It's during this mess of coronavirus, and things were limited, but I was talking to her about how Gorilla Glue was dealing with it. Uh, she was very positive about how the employees were backed up by the uh, owners and upper management. Uh, they were on the floor working the line along with uh, the help and they were doing things to make things easier. They addressed any concerns that the employees had so I was very positive about how this business was helping their employees during this time of great concern. That impressed me. I'm uh, very pleased with uh, how uh, Gorilla Glue was uh, treating their employees. So I have two companies that provide adhesives that uh, I can use with confidence because Titebond, the way that they treated me when I was asking questions, was absolutely the way someone should be treated. Two good companies for uh, adhesives for doing woodworking. I, I don't get a penny for it, that's just my personal opinion. I'm putting the thing together and what I've noticed is some of the stuff is MDF. For example, it's upside down. You see that shelf that's now up in the air. That's an MDF shelf. The side pieces where the rails for the uh, drawers go, that's MDF. Part of the uh, drawers, the sides are MDF and the uh, bottom is MDF. Those are things that you should be aware of. I knew there was some MDF on it. Uh, I had gone and looked over at Harbor Freight. And just to let you know, I picked it up for $109. They had it at $119. I had a $10 off coupon, so I haven't seen it available where someone could get it as cheaply as I did. I'm slowly putting this together. That's why I speeded everything up. Otherwise, probably two days of you watching me put this thing together. I forgot to put a little glue in on that particular spot, and so I pulled it back the screws out, uh, put the adhesive in. It made all the difference. I did not get any rocking or bowing with it. I forgot to mention with Gorilla Glue what the young lady said, that anything above negative 40 degrees, you can use Gorilla Glue. It just takes longer for it to cure.
and now I'm using the workbench as a construction table. All the bits and pieces are going together. I'm not too overly concerned where they did MDF. Now in a minute I'll show you a video I took with my phone. I saw on YouTube a lot of people did not watch the polarity of the bottoms. There's uh, screw holes in the back of it going into the drawer. Now here you see a piece of the felt is just torn and there's another piece on that same one that was the same way. The other three were okay. You can see where the uh, along the back there where the screws are it goes into a hardwood piece and too many people didn't pay attention on it so that they had to do their own uh, uh, counter sinks. I'm putting the uh, drawers together and using a lot of adhesive. Along the way I learned that uh, I didn't need to use as much adhesive. I had a little bit too much of squeeze out and it was a little messy and cleaned some of it up. So I learned to back it down a little bit. Would have wished they had switched to uh, Torch or Robertson uh, heads on the screws. They were Phillips and Allen wrenches. Now I tried to put that drawer in the upper right and it wouldn't go. And looking at the problem, these tabs were out. Couldn't get the shelf to go all the way back. There was flaw in the construction of mounting it or whatever the case may be. There are two tabs. Uh, I could not get the uh, drawer to go all the way back. And being so small and everything, it was a little bit of an effort to bend them out of the way. I must be perfectly honest, I never did get that drawer to work properly. It binds a little bit. Uh, and I don't like that they only go up three quarters of the way open. I'm planning to go through and replace those with uh, full open drawer slides, especially since the one is uh, a little flaky. Could I call up and get another one from Harbor Freight? Of course I could. But then I'd get the same thing, something that uh, did not open all the way. It makes it difficult to reach into the drawer and get things if it doesn't open all the way. The other thing that I found out about uh, this uh, workbench, it's too light to do uh, good planing on it. I got it so it would not warp or, uh, or move or anything. It was solidly built uh, using the adhesive on it, but it was physically too light when I tried to do a little bit of uh, hand planing with it. Put a piece of 2x4 in, in the vise and uh, did a little bit of uh, planing it's easy to lift up the workbench. And I knew these things would be an issue, not the drawer slide, but the lightness of it and that it wasn't a full-size workbench. But I've never worked with a workbench before. It's been uh, uh, things that were too high or too low or too short or whatever it is. So I wanted a workbench that I could uh, use for a while to see what features I really want in one. I'm slowly figuring it out. I just wanted to give a little recognition with Gorilla Glue uh, that those people helped us out. Nice young lady on the phone and I was impressed with the way that they were treating the employees. And the young lady had only started working there 
for a month and she's uh, very pleased and and like the way uh, they were concerned about the well-being of the employees so uh, you know, a company like that being local in Cincinnati I can support them I can support tight bond too so uh, two good companies So I'm fiddling around and I finally get the thing working. Uh, if I had known that was going to be a problem and look at it, if you're going to get one of these, slide the rails on them to see if they'll go all the way back and work on it before you put it together. Because uh, it'd be much easier if it was on a flat surface to work on this stuff. The problem was on both sides. It wasn't just one rail, it was both rails. Here we go. Got them so that they would be working. Should work without any problem. Of course, a little awkward getting it in place. I eventually do. And let's close the drawer. But it won't close. Will not close. So with a little banging on the front and a banging on the back and tweaking on this and tweaking on that, I finally got the drawer to close, but it doesn't work properly. It, it, it grabs on the way out, but it does open and close now. Just, it doesn't do it smoothly. So that's why I'm saying I'll, I wanna go through and replace all of them with, with drawers that open all the way. Uh, I couldn't buy the wood to do this with. I have the policy that until I know how I'm going to use something, I usually buy the cheaper version of it. This is the case with this. I, I will probably build my own workbench, but this will give me the flavor of the things that I do want in a workbench. I would recommend this as a starter workbench. It would be good for uh, light work. I wouldn't plane on it because you'll uh, li literally lift up the, uh, the workbench while you're planning. So here it is all together with some of the things I'm gonna put inside. The drawers and such so uh, it'll do the job that I expect it to do and when I'm ready I'll build my own um, uh, workbench this is the old farmer be well Thanks for watching everybody.